Okay, what is part 90? First off, if you're not operating your radios inside the United States, you don't have to worry about part 90. It is an administrative regulation for private land mobile radio service. If you're looking for it on the internet to read it, it is 47 CFR part 90. It regulates uh, radio equipment in the public safety and industrial business areas. All right, so we've got four Baofeng radios here. All of these are different model numbers. Two of them are appropriately labeled to operate on part 90. Two of these are not. So let's look at a couple here. This is a UV5 RTP. And we look at the back at its label. And it does not say anything about part 90. It says FCC. Really just talks about occupational exposure. This is a ham radio. It would be uh, appropriate for use on uh, amateur radio bands. Let's look at the GT3 WP. Again, you got the warning from the FCC about uh, occupational exposure to uh, uh, the radio. Now let's look at our uh, BF F9 V2 Plus. Okay, we've got a couple of things that uh, would make us think this is uh, appropriate to use on uh, part 90 frequencies in America. We've got the ID number that you can look up in the FCC database. And the label clearly says, complies with part 90 of the FCC rules. And we've got our... Uh, UV5R Plus, <clears throat> kind of the same deal. We've got our FCC ID number that we can look up in the FCC database for equipment. And the label clearly says that uh, it complies with Part 90 of the FCC rules. So if appropriately programmed, uh, these two would be acceptable for use on part 90 frequencies. These two uh, would not be. These are pretty much just ham radios. All right, I think it's important for me to tell you all that just because you own a radio with a label that says part 90 on it, this is not an implied license for you to operate on the frequencies listed in part 90. You must have your own FCC license or be authorized by somebody who has a license to operate on the part 90 frequencies and only the ones that are listed on that license. Okay, now what radio services are not regulated by part 90 in America? Well, we have amateur radio, part 97, GMRS, FRS, MERS and Citizens Band, which are under part 95, and Marine Band, Part 80. Okay, one obscure technical issue for the Baofeng radios when you're operating on Part 90 is that you need to have the keyboard locked so the radio cannot be reprogrammed in the field. And you can do this in the programming software. If you're using the Baofeng for a ham radio, you do not need to do that. 